Hi, I'm Eric Price, product specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to upgrade your software and your Power Focus platform products. So keep in mind, I'm gonna be doing this on a Power Focus 8, but this also applies to the Power Focus Cross Country, the PF Flex, and your integrated controller on your IXB tools. There are two ways of upgrading software. First is going to be through the web GUI, the user interface, and the second is through a USB device. The first one I'm gonna be showing you is how to do it through the web GUI. Let's go into the software. All right, now that we're in the controller's web GUI, we will be going to the controller tab here. And keep in mind for your IXB integrated controllers, this tab is going to be called the integrated controller tool tab. So the first thing that you're gonna see here is that there are two partitions of software. The current version, which is the software version that is currently activated and running on your controller, and the stored version, which is the version that is deactivated in your controller. We will select browse, choose a file. We'll go to our folder called PF images. This folder is important, but I will touch on that later. And the software that we're going to upgrade today is 3.10.9. Open it. Confirm that is the correct version. Hit continue. It's going to ask you if you want to replace this controller software, and we do, so we're going to hit continue. And now it's going to begin to install. This process only takes a few minutes. All right, now that the software has finished downloading, this took about three minutes. It's going to ask you if you want to activate the installed software. So now you have two options. You can either select continue or cancel. If you hit cancel, it will be put into the stored version. And if you hit continue, it will go into the active or the current version, be activated and your controller will restart. So for this, we're gonna hit continue. You can see here, it says restarting controller and it will reboot. And we have successfully updated our controller software via the web GUI. Now that we've successfully upgraded our controller software via the web GUI, now I'll show you how to do it via a USB device. So this can be helpful if you don't have access to your web GUI. So I've plugged my USB into my computer. Now we can dive in. So I have my USB in my computer. You can see I have a folder named PF images. And it's super important that the PF and I are all capitalized because it is case sensitive. Now, when I download software from wherever I'm getting it from, it's important that we move these software files to this folder. And you can see that I have multiple software versions in here. That is all right, because when we plug in the USB to the controller itself, it will allow you to select the specific version that you want to install. Another thing to keep in mind here is that these are compressed zipped folders. You should not unzip them. Okay, so now that we removed our USB from the computer, we can go ahead and insert it into the controller right at the bottom of the door here. And remember when I said the importance of the naming convention and also not to unzip the folders, that's because the controller will only detect certain encrypted files. The first thing that you will see is the menu to choose which software you wanna to upgrade to. We're upgrading to 3.10.9 today, so we'll select this one and hit continue. Keep in mind, while this is installing, it will not affect production. Only when you actually activate the software will the controller restart and affect production. Once the download is finished, it's the same process as before. It'll give you the option to activate it as the current version, which again will restart the controller, or close, which will put this software version into your stored partition for later use. Since our focus is continuous improvement, we always recommend keeping your controller up to date on the latest software. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.